morning. Hope you have a rejuvenating Sunday ahead. Just a quick update from me today. I wanted to chat about two of the most important pillars of your business. And if you get them right, they set the stage for you to thrive over years in any market condition. The first one, of course, is you. Your mental, emotional, physical well-being, making sure those are in a good spot for the long term. You know, I love talking about those subjects, which is why I send so much content on that. The second is relationships. You know, a, a collection of authentic relationship is the bedrock of building a healthy business. I don't care what type of business you're in. And, you know, it's it's funny. We, we hear a lot of platitudes about relationships. You know, I, I think the term has become somewhat homogenized. So let's go a level deeper and, let, and let's examine how relationships work by understanding the law of propinquity. So everything in your life goes through stages of aware, know, like, and trust. Every new food you've eaten, every song you've ever heard, every person you've ever met, you become aware and hopefully, eventually, like and trust them. If you can master this and you can maintain a relationship with three to 500 or more people, you'll do dozens of transactions a year from those relationships alone. It is truly the engine and sales of our business. Uh, but how do you build those relationships? You know, well, uh, what I've learned, the worst way to build a relationship is to try to build a relationship. You know, in my opinion, I do think networking have its place, but it's a little bit overvalued. First and foremost, you know, just focus on becoming a person of value. And, and that network, those relationships will be available to you whenever you want. But you're past this. You're, you're already good at building good relationships and earning trust. And NAR data supports this. Roughly 70 to 80% of sellers and buyers will happily refer and do repeat business with the agents that have helped them. But we get distracted and, and we lose those relationships. We stop doing the work to foster and keep them. But the truth is, once trust is established, it's pretty easy to keep. It's generally as simple as calling having a conversation, just being you. You've already earned trust, they already like you. So I wrote my most popular blog post on it. If I really examine and go deep on that subject, it's so important, hope to spend some time with it. I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care, bye-bye.